So we're gonna go. Y'all wanna do clothes wizard stuff? Yeah. Some clothes wizard stuff? Yeah. Alright, now I got two things that, that, that I think work at a pretty high level. A lot of guys clothes wizard and all they're looking for is, is a stalemate. Alright? You gotta talk about what, what makes a clothes wizard work. Alright? What makes a clothes wizard work? What, 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 what is he trying to do on a leg attack versus what I'm trying to do in defense? Okay? Hips in, back straight, head up on a leg attack, right? So the first thing I've got to do is I'm grabbing right here where my shoe meets my sock. I got the blade of my forearm right up here in his armpit. I'm turning my knee away. I'm trying to put his head on the mat. That's first order of business, okay? Again, this is bad in a This is bad in general, but I definitely don't like my feet together in a scramble. So I'm grabbing right here at my sock, turning my knee away, outside foot up. Cranking forward, okay? A lot of you guys get a wizard, whether it's just a normal wizard or a closed wizard, and we don't do anything with it. My wizard can be extremely powerful if I'm using it the right way. Turn my knee away, focus on getting his head to the mat. Now, this, some people call it a mousetrap, some people call it a Jonesy tail, there's a bunch of names for it. Jordan Oliver calls it the Oliver Twist, all right? When I get to this 90 degree position and I got his head pinned to the mat, my main focus is getting my wizard's shoulder to his knee. You see a lot of guys trying to tilt guys out here. I got nothing, all right? It's a little bit of pain for him, but it's not enough torque to get him to go over. I've got to dive this shoulder, and I like posting my head. You get used to posting your head, you're always gonna free something up, okay? Post my head, free up my hand. I'm trying to get this shoulder all the way back here. It takes some work. Feel that torque coming. He's ready to go and I ain't doing anything. Put it off with my hand and I sit up. Immediately looking to reach through. Grab right here. Okay. I like grabbing right here. I like elevating. I'm trying to get my chest up in. So or you can try to put your foot on the mat here. Doesn't feel great for me. Alright, I'm just trying to get my chest into this guy. So he's single legs. Alright, I immediately get to my closed wizard. Alright, foot up, turning. Crunch, I'm trying to get his head down to the mat. I go 90 degrees, post my head. And then all I'm focused on is getting this shoulder back towards his knee. It's gotta be close. I got him diving under work, work, work. He's ready to go. That doesn't feel good at all. Okay, the blade of my forearm right there in his bicep doesn't feel great for him. And I'm just holding and finishing for my count. Good morning, Jack. That's the key. That's what makes this work. That's what makes this work. Getting my shoulder near his knee. Now, does it work right now? What's the first thing I got to do? Talk to him. Got to clear that grip. Now my knee's free. Always getting everything low. Think about this. Get on a single leg. Up tall. Right here. Not very flexible in my hip and my femur right here. Now I'm a little more flexible because I got my knee. I'm real flexible because I'm down to my ankle. The further I push this guy down my leg, the more flexible I am, the more options I got. Right? I can kick away and then turn it into a low single right here. If I like to sit in low singles, I can take a single, a high single. He hits me with a high single. I can get here, kick out, turn into a low single. So far ankle rip. See how I can start getting to my strengths? All right? Close with it. I gotta get him low on my legs so I'm flexible. Turning it away, grinding that head down to the mat. Post to my head, free up my hand. Look to get this shoulder to his knee. I'm walking. Yeah, you don't like it. You don't like it. And then we're going, reaching through, okay? Pulling this wrist to me. Stay right here, we're in good shape. Hold that guy, he'll go crazy. We'll get our tape down and our count, and then we'll float over the top. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? We good? One more time. One more again. Sing. Clean up, get down to the mat. Turn, turn. Post. Okay. Guide that shoulder under. Sit up. Get my points. Now, this is the way I like to finish. He's going to be fighting away. He really can't fight into me. I let go, and I just hook right here. I go right into a bar if I want to. I'm right into another turn if I want to. Easy money. So now I just scored eight points off a little scramble position. 
pretty good. Get it, go!